Let's write the name for V3PO45. So V, that's vanadium. Vanadium is a metal. It's actually a transition metal. And then we have PO4. This is a group of nonmetals. It's a polyatomic ion. So we have a metal, and then we have a group of nonmetals. This is an ionic compound. The first thing we'll do is we'll write the name for V as it's found on the periodic table. That's vanadium. Next, this polyatomic ion here, this PO4, this is the phosphate ion. So you've either memorized that PO4 is the phosphate ion, or if you're allowed, you can look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. So we write phosphate, lowercase p. And so far, we have the name vanadium phosphate for V3PO45. Remember, we said vanadium is a transition metal. So we're going to need to write Roman numerals here to show the charge on the vanadium. Phosphate, the whole thing, the phosphate ion is 3 minus. So 5 times 3 minus, that gives us 15 minus. To get 15 plus over here, 3 times 5 plus, that would give us 15 plus. So that means the oxidation number here on vanadium, that's 5 plus. And we write a Roman numeral 5 between these names here to show that. So that makes the name for V3PO45 vanadium 5 phosphate. If you're given the name vanadium 5 phosphate and you need to write the formula, there's a link at the end of this video to help you do that. This is Dr. B with the name for V3PO45. It's vanadium 5 phosphate. Thanks for watching.